Welcome to Citrus TV Now. I'm Adam Unger. Today is Thursday, April 19th, 2018. This is what you need to know. A second apology has been issued toward the two men arrested in a Starbucks on Tuesday. Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross has released a statement as well. Ross says he, quote, failed miserably in addressing the arrests and that a new policy has been put in place. Previously, we did not have such a policy because it is nearly impossible to have a policy for every criminal or any other violation. But we have a policy now. For the first time since 1959, a member of the Castro family is no longer in power in Cuba. Raul Castro officially left the presidency today, leaving Miguel Mario diaz Canel to rule the island. He's expected to serve two five-year terms as president and eventually take Castro's place as the head of the Communist Party. Many central New York schools are planning walkouts for tomorrow morning. These protests mark the anniversary of the shooting at Columbine High School that killed 12 students and a teacher in 1999. A national walkout is scheduled for 10 a.m. when students will leave their classrooms for 13 seconds. And new information related to the incident involving Theta Tau could be released later today. CNN is reporting that an executive director of Theta Tau, Michael Abraham, found new details late yesterday and plans to release a statement today. For more details as this develops, follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News. And coming up at 6, Citrus TV News will bring you a 45-minute special. We'll have a full breakdown on how the Syracuse community is responding to the Theta Tau video obtained by DPS. And that's all the time we have for you on Citrus TV Now. For the latest, follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News. And for our full shows and stories, check out CitrusTV.com. You can find tonight's 45-minute special at CitrusTV.com live. I'm Adam Unger. Have a wonderful evening, Syracuse.